question, which is what is your party's position on decriminalizing sex work? We'd like to know. I think it mustn't be allowed. The, 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 the sex workers must not be allowed to practice it. <laughs> that we should decriminalize sex workers. Uh, we really have to look at it in a socio-economic <coughs> perspective. Why are these women going to those trades? Lack of education, lack of skills, lack of op job opportunity. Um, the sex worker can sell sex, if I can say that one. But the buyer needs to be, if I can put it, punished. At this moment, we're not going to legalize prostitution. The DA is not going to legalize it. We all know that violence against women are still the most widespread fundamental human rights violation. Mm -hmm. And some st um, studies that were done have shown that more than 80% of, of crimes in rural area um, is happening on farms, and more than 60% of these crimes are violence against women. And then we've also heard that it's a past theme and stop theft, which isn't the issue that's really affecting us. So I would just like to know what is the political party's position in terms of dealing with the issues affecting us in terms of violence against women in rural areas. The second question is in terms of evictions. Between 94 and 2004, we've seen 1 million farm workers being evicted, of which 77% were women and children. 1% were legal evictions, no prosecution, no farmer is in jail for violating farm worker rights. And in almost all these cases, no alternative accommodation were, um, were there when farm workers were evicted. We've been demanding a moratorium on evictions for a long time now. So what is the party's position of putting a moratorium on evictions, and we want the redress for those families who are evicted from families without alternative evictions. And the ANC government has a freedom charter that says the land shall be seen amongst those who work there. Yeah. But we do find that farm workers do not own land, so we support expropriation. So what do your parties say on expropriation? And we do not want land buyers to have property. That's why land reform is not working. The farmer must be willing and then it's market related prices. I mean, if it's not working, then we need to make decisions and start taking over land. Yeah. And then the last question is on outlawing labor brokers. We all know that labor broker labor hire is slave labor. And it's women who work on farms who bear the brunt of the unequal trade regime. They are being pushed into the informal economy with no social protection, no job security, no benefits, nothing like paid maternity leave or decent wages for those workers, women working on farms. And what is the party's position on outlawing cheap labor hire in South Africa? Farm workers here with me, and we want you to take a message back, and we're going to sing a song to you. And you should take it back to the national leadership of the political parties because we are saying if our demands aren't met, we're going to start invading, we're going to start occupying, we're going to start taking over land.
nothing for you, that's just a sound tell. And you can just think what a powerful force we are when we start acting as a collective. And that's what we're moving towards. We've been denied our human rights for too long. We've been forgotten for too long. But soon, very soon, we're going to stand up and we're going to show that we're also here. And then the political party is going to get a shock because we're going to use our vote. And we're going to use it to say no land, no vote.